Hello everyone. In this video, we will take a look at how we can install Tailwind CSS inside of an Angular project. So, Tailwind CSS is a utility first CSS framework. That means we are provided with a set of classes. Like here, we can see Flex, PT4, that means padding top 4, text center to centering a text. And similarly, we have a lot more classes. So that means we don't really have to create new classes and we can just include this framework in our application and then we can directly use these classes. So if I click on get started and maybe let's if I scroll down a bit. So you can actually see they have classes for almost everything. So if I go to container, so that means Let's say they have a container class, right? And if I go to display, so they have all the classes for display here. And similarly, we can go to, let's say, flex. So they have classes for flex and similarly the grid also. So maybe let's see how we can get started or basically install Tailwind inside of the Angular project. So to get started, we can go to our terminal and here we can start by installing the Angular CLI. So we can type npm install dash g angular slash CLI. So that means we are installing the Angular CLI globally on our local machine. And once that is done, we can start by creating a new project with the help of a new utility called ng. So once that is done, we can type ng dash dash version. And here we can see our Angular CLA version. So currently we are on 12.0.1. And if we clear it, and we can let's get started by creating a new Angular application. So we will type ng new um, ng tailwind. Okay. So ng tailwind is actually the name. So you can name it anything. So maybe we don't need routing, but maybe let's say yes for now. And then we can do SCSS. Now our project is created successfully. So we can switch over to our project, which is ng tailwind. And then we can open it inside our code editor, which in my case is VS code. So I can type code dot. So this is how the default application with Angular looks like. And I can open the terminal here to run our application. We can type ng serve or we can type s for short and then dash o. So this will actually open the project inside the browser automatically. So here I will say yes for now. So once that is done, our project will actually run on port 4200. So here we can see our project is now running and we can go to our browser and here we can see the project is running here and this is how the default angular application looks like so now let's see how we can install tailwind css in our project so i will go to the terminal here and maybe let's close it for now and i will clear it so first we will install tailwind css as a dev dependency so we will do npm install dash d tailwind css so once that is successful, uh, this will actually add the new dependency inside of this dev dependency subject. So here we can see it. And now we need to create tailwind config file. So we can actually do npx tailwind CSS in it. So this will create a new file called tailwind.config.js. So this will actually contain the configuration for our Tailwind project. So actually the Tailwind CSS. And now we can go to our source and then styles.scss. And here we can actually include the uh, Tailwind CSS files. So first we will include Tailwind CSS slash base. So you can actually go to um, tailwindcss.com and if we do get started here and then start learning and in here if I scroll down a bit 
so this is what we have to import so I will just copy it actually and let's paste it here and uh, now we can run our project once again ng serve so this time I haven't put dash o because our project is already running I mean this is already open in our browser so we don't want to open it again so once that is done we should be able to use tailwind inside our project all right so that is done and here let's try once again and let's open the dev tools so i will press f12 and let's see if we don't have any errors in the console so now we will go ahead and in the app then app component i will remove everything here except the router outlet and in here i can uh, let's create a simple button maybe click me and now we can do class uh, let's do bg uh, blue uh, 500 and i will do p4 and i will save it and here we can see the classes from the tailwind css are being applied automatically here and uh, now if i go here and let's change it to text white all right and uh, maybe then rounded maybe let's say lg and if i save it so you can see we have rounded corners and then we have white text and then the blue background so that is how we can set up tailwind inside of angular in the coming video we will try to create some layouts with angular and tailwind so stay tuned